here's the headline here. This Let's is what I was talking about. Here. Jason Tardick would have told himself to wake the hell up <laughs> before moving in with ex Caitlin Bristow. Jason Tardick is spilling tea about his breakup with Caitlin Bristow. Hey everyone, welcome back to Shared News. It's hard to believe that six months later, we're still talking about Jason Tardick and Caitlin Bristow's breakup, but here we are and Jason is spilling some tea on a podcast. We'll get into it, but before we do, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, so you never miss out on any Bachelor updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan, and Jason was on Chris Harrison's podcast with Ben Higgins, and they they got into the conversation of Jason's former relationship. Now, Jason does have a new book that's coming out soon, so you might be seeing a lot of press from him lately. He's going to want to be talking about it on as many podcasts as possible. Um, but Chris Harrison and Ben Higgins did some prodding and they got some good stuff out of Jason. Jason looks back on what his relationship with Caitlyn was like, what his past couple of years are like, and saying in this moment in his life, the chapter is about acceptance and the purest form of clarity. Jason said for so long he was bogged down about taking care of everyone else. He called himself the rescuer and said he was looking forward to just taking care of him in this new chapter of his life. He also said that he doesn't feel so much empathy for people I once loved. Uh, then Ben asked what he was looking for in his next partner. He gave three different answers. Number one, saying the support that is given is matched in return. Number two, honesty and integrity. And number three, saying that the more happiness that you have, the more envy that comes. And when the envy enters, you need such a solid unit that your partner in the room with you and without you in the room is there for you and they have your back. Which he's not coming out and explicitly saying that Caitlyn was unsupportive and Caitlyn wasn't honest. But in this list of one, two, three, he's saying number one, he wants support to be matched to what he gives. It kind of alludes to the fact that the support wasn't there, you know, and when he says he wants honesty and integrity, he said, when you get caught in love clouds, it's easy to avoid a lot of those things. So he also said that he had a very long laundry list of why things didn't work out and that Caitlin also has a long list and there is no way that those lists connect. So he's basically saying that their perspective on their relationship was totally different, that they couldn't see eye to eye maybe on the things that they weren't agreeing about. He also says, I want to treat the breakup with the same respect I would expect out of my significant other. And I don't think that's been the case at this point. This is what was really surprising to me the most, you know, saying that he doesn't necessarily think that the respect has been at the level that he had hoped. I don't know if that is in regards to Caitlyn talking about the breakup on her podcast or potentially her being spotted multiple times with Zach Clark and all of those relationship rumors. He doesn't explicitly say what he's talking about here, but long gone is that we love and respect and want to move forward in a happy, healthy way. No, that's always good for like the first couple of months, right? Where you want to remain friends. You never can. I, th I feel like it's very rare that you actually can remain really good friends with an ex when it didn't work out, especially when the stakes were so high. They were supposed to get married. They were engaged. So it seems like stuff is starting to boil up and boil over. I am sure Caitlin will respond to this. She always does. She's not afraid to share her opinion. So we will see what she has to say. And of course, we'll report on it. Let us know what you think of this in the comments. Are you surprised that Jason is starting to say all these things about his past relationship? Or do you think he shouldn't, that he should move on and not talk about his past relationship any longer? You know we love to hear from you guys, so leave all of your thoughts and your opinions in the comments section below. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel, ring the bell so you never miss out on any Bravo updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan, and we'll see you back next time. Bye, everyone.